What's up folks, back again for another video. This is going to be an update video. Uh, but first off, hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good weekend. Been meaning to make this for a few days now. Just, just finding the time, so busy. Um, so anyone does leave comments on YouTube, I will get, I will reply to them, you know. I'm not being snobby or anything, you know. But I do appreciate your feedback and things. And uh, for checking out the work. So yeah, I thought I'd just do a little update for some clients and things, some work I'm doing. And then I've got some more plans for videos later in the week. Doing like a Movie Maniacs uh, video. Because they, they're what started it all off with the horror stuff. Um, so I've got a nice little collection here, thanks to my friend Grey. Um, they're all on the card. I had some years ago. Um, but I stupidly gave my way to someone I thought was a friend, turned out to be a total cunt. So yeah, um, I regret doing that. So thanks to Grey, you know, like a few years ago he, he helped me build up the collection again. So I'm going to do a video for them to show them some love from the Farland toys because Tommy Farland's awesome. I love Spawn as well. Some of you guys know I love Spawn. And I love McFarlane toys as well. They do a lot of cool figures and things. and. You know, NECA wouldn't be around if it weren't for McFarlane toys and things. But I'll leave, I'll leave that talk for the video anyway. I'll go on about that then. So, yeah, I just want to start off with... I'll show uh, Mike's Gene first. Gene Simmons. I remember on a video I did a while back, uh, I was adding the metal bits. I still am adding the, the metal bits because it's taken that long. But I've got a good, uh, good lot of it done now. Um, still need to do the silver on the boots and stuff and like he's got red eyes on the boots like I've done the spiky bits on the sides now guys uh, on finished there uh, doing the metal bits on his torso um, filling in the gaps with silver as well but I want to stick all these bits on first I've said to Mike because he seemed a bit concerned there was still some bits of black there but that will be filled in uh, and I've got to do like studs on his wings and stuff. And then the other set of wings that go there, just on his shoulders and down a little bit like that and around the back. And then I'll do his accessories then. There's a guitar, and he's going to have this like snake head. It's, uh, I think it smokes on stage, I think, if I remember. Uh, but it's like the snake and the guitar. There's no diorama with this one like it was with the Sammy one. Um, I'm only going to do dioramas now separately. Uh, it's just I've got too much work on to take on really long projects. This one is it, it's been a fun one, you know, but it's a lot of work to it. It's all these bits, you know, um, takes forever, but it does look good. It will pay off, like. Um, so that's the jeans so far. Gonna, I've been doing the shoulders when I've had time, on um, like I said. He's got the metal bits going down there, and then he's got some on his like uh, his bands there, like the wristbands. They're not wristbands, but like gauntlets, you know. He's got some squares on there as well. So I'll, you know, I'll get round to doing it. Like he's got a chain. He's doing a chain in the middle there. Got some chain work and stuff. So it's slow going, but it's it's turning out well. Like so that's the gene put him back there. And I've been working on. Another Crowley from my friend uh, Jordan, who's been collecting all these hatchet figures, which I'm really thankful for. Cheers, man. Because they don't take too long to make, to be fair. I'm, I'm very used to making Crowley now. And uh, Jordan needed this last one in his collection from the, the latest film, Victor Crowley, or Hatchet 4, from last year. And there he is. The figure's done, man. I will, show, I will be showing him pictures anyway. Take some nice pictures for you in the proper lighting. And uh, but I thought I'd show you in the video as well. He's done, just needs his hatchet doing. And I'm trying to do the belt sander. Jordan said, Can you do a belt sander with him? And uh, I'm trying to work it out. I've made one before, so I've got to take my time with that one. But uh, the figure itself's done. Uh, he's got all blood on him. Like I say to another friend, my friend Gray, I do, did a video for unlisted one, I was saying, you can't do a Crowley without any blood on him, because years ago I used to, you know, um, but then the clouds noticing the clients that bought them were putting blood on them, so I thought, well I might as well just put blood on them from them, so, and it does look better with blood on him, so, because every reference picture I've used 
to make these he's always covered in blood so it makes sense so just his hatchet to do and the belt sander and then he's finished me man and I'm also doing Jordan a part 8 Jason now this is early stages I know it looks a bit funny so just bear with me but um, he is looking cool I, I can see in my mind's eye how it's going to turn out so hopefully you guys can do the same um, but I've got to colour wash a lot of the clothing I've done his shirt and I've done his trousers they're all going to be black and then you've got to put the gloopy stuff on him it's actually wood glue I don't know what anyone else uses out there other artists but I use wood glue and you just cover it in a few layers of wood glue let it set add another one and then when it sets it looks shiny and wet but when you touch it it's not you see it's like a little trick there so I always do that for the party Jasons. So then, once the clothing is done, I'll do the mask, I'll sculpt the mask, mould it to the face so it'll clip on, and then I'll put the, obviously put the straps around the mask as well. And uh, I'm going to do him an axe, like a fire axe, uh, do an AJ's guitar, and a bit of broken mirror as well, that he uses in the film. So hopefully it'll look, uh, all come together. This seems to be coming together so far from what I've... Uh, been working on. I've made him before anyway, I do know what I'm doing so. So yeah, there's the party Jason for your man so far. They're nice and bulky for you because the part 7 one's bulky. I'm going to be making a new part 7 uh, Jason as well soon, a 12 inch version. I've done like a 7 inch version for me for me friend Chris a while ago with a base and stuff. Turned out really well. Uh, but I want to do, I've got the Sideshow one in my collection so when I've got the time, I want to I want to make my own version. I've never made him before, the part seven one. So the sideshow figure is great. It's just he's skinny, you know. And in the film, you j fellow Jason fans know he's not skinny in that film. He's quite bulky. So same with the part eight as well. The part eight should be bulky like this because you know Kane Nod is well built, like you know he's stunt man, isn't he? So yeah, there's George and stuff. See Mike's Gene there. Uh, also been working on a Lord of Darkness, Tim Curry as a Lord of Darkness from Legend. And this is him so far. I've put some like pictures of the head sculpt, early head sculpt I did on me Twitter. I think I put it on Instagram, I can't remember now. I think I think I did. It was definitely on Twitter anyway. And um yeah I've got a bit more done on him since then. Got his animal feet there. Done the you know his hooves and so I call them animal feet, you know what I mean? Like the hooves and things and he still moves and um, skin tone's done on him now just got to put like the detail on the legs he's got like, netting and levers and stuff on his on his legs and he's got like a black belt on with things hanging off it and he's got like little shoulder pads with beads length of beads running down and like a long black cape that go on the back there and I'm going to do his sword and I'm going to do the unicorn's horn uh, I might do his staff as well. I notice he's got a staff. So I'm seeing the film for ages. So it's been a bit. I've been just looking for pictures for now, clips and stuff on YouTube. But yeah, that's him so far. I'm really pleased with it so far. First one I've done. So going well so far, guys. I think. So what you what you guys think? There. So I'll show you some more progress on that when I do some more. Um, and. Finished a 1984 original Toxie from Toxic Avenger. There, there he is, with his mop. Now I've done the, I did the part two version first because that's my favourite out, out of the films. But I do, I like all of them, you know. And uh, been doing these for trauma, and uh, been getting a lot of feedback and things on Twitter. I seem to be the place for trauma. I seem to be getting feedback on there than more than anywhere else, which is cool, you know. There's a lot of pages they've got on there as well, so check them out, guys. Those of you on Twitter, there's a lot of trauma pages on there, official ones as well, and there's some good fan ones as well. So check them out. So yeah, um, Toxie there from the first film. Uh, I am going to do. He's going to have like a trash can uh, with slime in it as well. So when I take the photo uh, photo for the portfolio, he's going to have like slime coming down the mop, and like I want to do like a diorama, like a street scene diorama. Um, and I have like the trash can on its side with slime coming out, so it looks quite gunky and all that. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. So I have a lot of nice feedback from Troma about that, about this one. I'm a Kabuki man, I've done a Kabuki man, but I want to revisit the Kabuki man a little bit. 
so I won't show them on the video just yet, but there's some pictures on me other platforms of the Kabuki Man, and I just want to revisit him a little bit more. So yeah, there's the Toxie, the figure's done, just want to do a few little extra bits for him, and then he's totally finished then. So yeah, that's that one done guys, uh, do a separate video for that when it's done. And what else I've been working on? I've been I've been doing a, another part three Crowley for an Australian client called Vince. He was a nice guy. Met him on Twitter. Um, just adding a few more bits to the the figure itself. Dungarees are done. He's ordered some clothing. I do make clothing as well. And Vince has ordered some Myers coveralls and a Mr. Barlow robe from Salem's Lot and. The Rob Zombie Myers, Michael Myers, the um, escape, he's got like a robe on, like a grey robe on. So I'm doing those for him as well. And uh, I've got loads of other orders as well going on. I've got um, my friend Chris, I've got his little um, creeper from Jeep's Creepers uh, to, to do some more on. When it starts looking apart, I will show you on the video. Um, I've got an Uncle Fester to do from friend Grey, the original Uncle Fester from the Black and White series not the films um i've got more i just can't think right now but there's, there's tons going on guys so um yeah i hope you're all doing well that'll be it for the little update video um i will email you clients soon um when i get the time i haven't checked my main inbox yet i've been on instagram quick and oh yeah just to let you know guys i am actually on instagram now um my sister is still on there as well running it for us a little bit but I am on there as well so if you want to get me on there as you can I'll just show you me page just log in a minute and I'll show you there we go there's my page if you can see that guys just down like that got all my work on there well not all of my work I'm still adding stuff on there but uh, yeah, got a lot of work on there already. And it's just an easy place to add to work rather than... I do like making videos, but they do take a while. It's just easier to put your work up on here, really. So, yeah. Just so you guys know if you want to get me on there. I'm on Twitter as well. And that's... I've got my website on YouTube. But I'm not on YouTube much, just to let you people know... Um, if you're trying to get hold of me on there, you might have a bit of a wait because I don't regularly check in there. Uh, I just literally come to add videos up because I share them on other things, you see. So it's not just for YouTube, I put them over places. I've got a and a video coming up as well when I get time to make that. Uh, I've had a lot of questions from people on my website and things like that. So go on and get to know me and how I got started in my business and stuff and some techniques and some personal questions as well, which I might not answer, I don't know. But, um, yeah, hope you guys are doing well anyway. That'll, that's it for this video. Uh, have a great week if I don't see you sooner. And just all the best. And keep on rocking, guys.